Our students access SharePoint through our school website. It's secure with a login, username and password. When students log on, this is their landing page. We've set it out that a primary student or a secondary student, parents, staff room, curriculum extension activity and leadership groups. So they were the main groups that we felt were important for our site. You can also see there's a ribbon across the top which has quick access as well. We also have quick access to our files which is our school network so if I click on file access I can access any of the documents I've stored on the school network. So if I go in first of all as a primary student This is the primary student hub. So over on this side here, we have the different class, different year levels. Like over here, we have a student bulletin. Students can access their email, ICT help. And then we have some quick links which students use regularly. Uh, Britannica Online, uh, Online Referencing Generator, Study Ladder, and also counsellors if students would like to contact their school counsellors. I'll show you some different examples. If I click on reception, now the reception teachers use their learning space as a delivery of information for parents. So it's not necessarily for students, but more so a space where parents can access. This is what their site looks like. So they have the learning space provides parents and friends in reception with a wide range of information. And you can see the types of information we have. So if I click on general information. They've got their philosophy, teaching methodology and so forth. If I go back, curriculum information. So parents can access information about the program, key learning areas, whenever they like. The reception teachers also have a, term, a calendar for each term and notes. So whenever a note is sent home, teachers will upload an electronic copy so parents can access if they misplace the note or it's not taken home in the first place. Another example I was going to show you is the Year 5. Now this SharePoint page is designed for parents, teachers and students. So this page here is managed by three Year 5 teachers as we have three Year 5 classes. We have a calendar with reminders. Each class has their own homework page. So you can see the different classes. If I click on Term 1, Students are able to access their homework. So this is homework for week one. We have different levels of homework, so students can choose which level suits them. We also have videos embedded to support the learning at home. Here you can see week two, for example. So resources to support homework. If a student misplaces their spelling words, they're on there. There's additional optional homework as well. And we can upload our homework for the entire year. This enables students to access homework at any time which suits them. Another feature of the Year 5 page we have is announcements. Now three classes have different announcements. So teachers can upload those, for example, this is mine here. And a parent can click or a student can click on it. This was a Harmony Day letter and download a letter which was sent home. Underneath we also have curriculum areas. So we have the subject and the term. So this is our whole year's worth of curriculum. So for example if I was teaching multiplication I would click on the multiplication page. We have student outcomes at the top and then it goes through and each lesson that we teach is on here with supporting videos. There are tasks for students to complete. We can upload worksheets for students to complete. 
This here, students are able to access prior to the lesson and or after the lesson to support their learning. Having resources on there also enables us to cater for a wider range of learning needs. For multiplication, for example, a student may already be aware of the content we're teaching or have a great understanding, so we've created a higher achiever program. If a student is on that, this program here is designed for the student with video tutorials, tasks to complete, independently. We have one-to-one -one teacher conferencing at the end of the lesson where students would go through what they have learned and discuss and update their teacher. So this could be a group of students working together without necessarily having the teacher with them throughout the lesson. As you can see, if I scroll down here, so this is our maths curriculum. We have the same for English, our HASS units, our science is on here, technology, religion, health, and the arts. Now I'd like to show you an example of a secondary page. So when the second student logs on, this is what the secondary hub looks like. So you have student learning at each of the year levels, pastoral care, and these over here are links to areas we felt would support secondary students. And again, just like the primary, they can access their bulletin, their email, and commonly used searches. So if I go in, for example, let's go to year 10, if I'm a student in year 10, and then these are all the subjects which are offered at school. So if I was in year 10 doing year 10 geography, then this would be my page. To have a welcome to your learning space, we like to have a course outline. Some teachers like to have the assessment next. Then underneath these here are the different topics which are taught. For example, term one, environmental change and management then students can actually see resources, teacher lessons, teacher resources and student assignments. I'll give another example, secondary hub. This time I'm going to go to year 11. So if I was in year 11, these are the subjects which are on offer. I might be doing society and culture. Again, you can see it's a similar layout as the year 10 one. So you've got welcome to your learning space. This one has assessment, announcements, a calendar. And again, down the bottom are the topics which are being taught. So if I click on media, okay, so we have student resources, teacher lessons, teacher resources and assignments. Again, consistency is important between them. Another area which we have is also is curriculum extension activities. On this page, we want an area for primary sport, secondary sport, music, and other areas of focus for the school. So if students are looking for resources, this is where they can go. Also, for example, in primary sport, we have online subscription for payments for parents. The parent room is soon to be developed. On that page there, we intend to have resources for parents about students uh, studying uh, to support studying habits, uh, you can see there's online payments, OSH, and parenting tips here. We also have an area for staff. And of course, each of these areas has permissions. So for example, students don't have access to the staff room, whereas staff have access to the staff room and the student area. So these were the main areas that we thought we'd have and have page links on them. Leadership also have a separate group.
And with the leadership, you have different leadership teams within the school, which can have their own page and then notes or OneNotes, which they have used for their resources.